Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we're making this gorgeous Loops and Bridges border. This is a great border, you're gonna love it. It is very simple stitches, just chains, single crochets, and double crochets the whole way through. We just change our color of yarn to tie in all the yarn that you used in your blanket. It's also very wide. It adds three inches on each side of your blanket, so six inches to the width and six inches to the height. So it's perfect if you have a small blanket or you wanna make your blanket a little bit bigger. This is a great way of doing it without using too much yarn. This border can be added to any blanket regardless of the stitch count. We're just gonna change how we do our corners. So we're just gonna be doing the adjustment for the stitch count when you get close to your corners. So your corners might look like this or your corners might look like that. But that's where we're going to be doing our adjustment, so don't worry about how many stitches you have going across or how many rows you have going. There are right and left handed tutorials for this video, I'll link those in the description box down below, as well as a link to the written pattern if you'd like to follow along. The written pattern also includes the pin curl granny baby blanket with the loops and bridges border, so that's all one pattern. So if you'd like to follow along with that, there's a link to it in the description box below. This pattern also has a very nice way of joining along the sides of your blanket. It looks nice and tidy, just as tidy as it does along the top and bottom edge. To make the loops and bridges border, you will need the yarn that you used in your blanket and also some white. If you're making the exact same blanket that I did, I used about 50 grams of all three colors and about 70 grams of the white. If you're adding this border to a different blanket, you'll just need some yarn from your blanket, and I always like to put in a little bit of white, or you could also use black, a little bit of neutral, something to spark up and lift those colors that you used in your blanket, and also the same size hook that you used for your blanket. So same yarn, same size hook, and let's get started. the border on your pin curl baby blanket. We finished off in this corner here. So we're going to join in on the corner before. So working into the previous corner, I'm going to put my hook straight into the top of that chain three, just right there. Put your hook in, loop of your new yarn on your hook. I'm using white. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail and chain two, one, and two. Into this space before that single crochet, one single crochet, chain two. Into the space after that stitch, one single crochet, chain two. Into the space after the stitches, one single crochet, chain two. Into the next space, single crochet, chain two. We're going to keep going along the whole top of our blanket doing the same thing. One single crochet with a chain two into every space and just skipping over all of the stitches. So chain two, skip over all those stitches, one single crochet into the next space, chain two, skip over the one stitch and one single crochet into the next space. Chain two, jump over all those stitches one single crochet into the next space, chain two, jump over that stitch, one single crochet into the next space. So that gives us a nice little row to start building our border onto. So keep going like this all the way along and I'll meet you when we get to the corner. Now we're gonna make our corner spot. We're gonna go right into that stitch, into that chain. And I want two strands of that stitch on the top of my hook. Make one single crochet, chain two, and into the very same stitch, one more single crochet. So then when we're working along our blanket in the next row, this chain two spot will be our new corner for our border. So now we're gonna work along the side of our blanket, so just rotate your work so we can work down the side together. Chain two, one, two. We're just gonna work into the bottom, into this big space here. So chain two and single crochet 
into that stitch, chain two, single crochet into the next stitch, chain two, single crochet. So it looks like that. It feels a bit tight, like you're thinking, oh, I didn't put enough stitches. Don't worry about it. We want this row to be a bit snug to keep our blanket in shape. And as we are working on it, it will relax. But right now, if it's all kind of curled over and looking questionable, just go with it. So chain two, one, two, into the bottom of the next stitch, one single crochet, chain two, into the bottom of the next stitch, one single crochet. So keep going like this all the way down the side of your blanket and I'll meet you when we get to the next corner. At the end of that side, just work into the same spot that we always have been. Single crochet, chain two, rotate your work a little bit so we can work down the bottom of our blanket or the next side. And we're gonna make this into our corner. So I'm gonna make one more single crochet into the very same spot. chain two and now we're going to do the same thing that we did along the top. Every space is going to get a single crochet, chain two, jump, single crochet, chain two, jump, single crochet, chain two, jump, single crochet. So we're going to work our way all along the bottom of our blanket like this, making a chain two, single crochet into the space, chain two, single crochet into the next space, chain two, single crochet into the next space, all the way along the bottom of our blanket. So pause the video, keep going on this row, and I'll meet you at the next corner. At the end of this side, we're gonna make our corner right into the bottom of this shell here. Just right there, that's gonna be our new corner. So I've done my chain two into this stitch, one single crochet, chain two, and one more single crochet into the same stitch. Chain two, one, two, and then rotate your work so we can work along the next side. Now on this side, we're gonna be doing the same thing as we did on the other side, the opposite side. We're gonna be building our single crochets into this stitch, the bottom of these double crochets. So right here, right here, 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 here all the way along. So we're just doing our regular chain two and into that stitch, one single crochet, chain two, into the next stitch, one single crochet, chain two, into the next stitch, one single crochet, chain two, into the next stitch, one single crochet chain two. So we're going to be working our way up this side and again don't worry if it's all curled up and looking really tight. We need something to be holding our blanket shape as it relaxes and it gets used. Keep going like this all the way along this side and I'll meet you at the next corner. When you reach the next corner do your chain two and we're going to go into the same spot that where we joined our yarn. That's going to be our corner for the rest of our border. So into the same stitch where we joined one single crochet, chain two, one, two, and now we're going to slip stitch right in between the legs of our very first stitch, our slip stitch where we joined our yarn. So let's put your hook in, bring your yarn back, and slip stitch. Chain one, into the very same stitch, one single crochet, and two single crochets into this space. One, and two. One single crochet into the stitch, and two into the space. One, two, into the stitch, one, into the space, two. Into the stitch, one single crochet, and into each space, two single crochets. So two single crochets into each space, and one single crochet into each stitch. So we're gonna do this on all sides of our blanket now. 
all the way along. So keep going, making one single crochet into the stitch and two single crochets into each space all the way along this side and I'll meet you at the corner. So getting close to our corner where we have our two single crochets into the same space, one into the stitch, and now I'm into my corner space right there. So I'm going to do two single crochets, one, two, a chain two, I'm holding it open with my finger and thumb. I want to make sure all my stitches are going into the same space, the same stitch, and two more single crochets. One, and two. And now we're just going to keep going around our entire blanket doing the same thing. One single crochet into the stitch, two single crochets into each space, and our corners, two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. So pause the video, keep working your way around, and I will meet you when you get back to where you joined. When you get to your corner, two single crochets, one, two, into that corner space, chain two, and two more single crochets into that same corner. Now we're going to slip stitch to join, just at the top of that first single crochet we made, one slip stitch. Chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn out and snug that down to secure. So I'm going to pick a different corner. I don't want to have all my ends in the same corner. Into that chain two corner space where we have our chain two. So in between those pairs of single crochets in the corner, put your hook in, loop of new yarn on your hook, bring your yarn through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail and chain three. One, two, and three. That counts as our first double crochet and chain one. If you joined your yarn in a different way, do a chain four. Now we're gonna go around doing one double crochet, chain one, and skip one. So we're gonna skip the next stitch. We're skipping this stitch right here. We're gonna work in to the second one. So if you're looking from this side, we're skipping the first stitch and going in to the second stitch. So wrap your yarn and into the second stitch, one double crochet. Chain one, wrap your yarn, skip one, into the second stitch right here, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, into the second stitch, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet into the second stitch. So we're going to keep going around our blanket, making one double crochet, chain one, skip one, all the way along, and I'll meet you when we get to the corner. At my corner, I have two single crochets before that chain two corner space, so I'm just gonna do my normal chain one, and my next double crochet straight into that corner. So this is where we're gonna adjust the border to fit any blanket, really, that we're working on. So double crochet, chain two, rotate your work a little bit, and one more double crochet into that same spot, that same corner space. Chain one, and now we're gonna mirror what we did in the first half of the corner on the second half. So I'm gonna skip the same two stitches. So wrap your yarn in into the third stitch, and this of course is if your blanket, if your corner ended up the same as mine. Yours could have worked out perfectly, but if, in case yours didn't, that is how you fix it, just at that corner. So now keep going around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we joined. So back at the corner, I have done my double crochet and chain one. So wrap your yarn in one double crochet into the same stitch where you joined your yarn. Chain two, one, and two. Now we're gonna slip stitch in to the second chain. So we did our slip stitch, one, two, so just here. We wanna leave one chain in between the double crochet. So we're gonna slip stitch into the second chain. Chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn down and snug that down to secure.
Now pick a different corner. So just put your hook straight into that corner space. Loop of your new yarn on your hook and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, I'm not, I'm supposed to be there. Depending on how many stitches you have on the sides of your blanket, your corners can either look like this or they'll look like that. Either one is fine. If you want all your corners to look exactly the same like this, then you would start your loops in the center of this corner here. We started into the first stitch, but you could start straight into the center. Right into the first double crochet after that corner, put your hook inside that stitch, loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. So skip the next double crochet and make one single crochet into the second. So we're just making these loops all the way along our work. Chain five again, one, two, three, four, and five. Skip a double crochet and one single crochet into the second. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to skip a double crochet and work into the second with a single crochet. So into the second, one single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip a double crochet, so skip this one. Working into the second, you make one single crochet into the second stitch. And now keep going along this row, doing the same thing. Chain five, single crochet into the second stitch, all the way along the side, and I'll meet you at the corner. When you get to your corner, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And just work into that corner space. So this is where we're gonna adjust our pattern. We're just gonna do the same thing on both sides of the corner. So single crochet into the corner space. One, two, three, four, five. Chain five, and one more single crochet into the same corner space. Chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we just wanna mirror what we did before that corner. We skipped this one, and we worked into the next. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on both sides of the corner. And each corner can be a bit different as long as each side of each corner matches. That is the goal. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip a double crochet and go into the second. So one single crochet. So now keep going like this all the way around your blanket and I'll meet you back when we get to where we joined. Back at the corner where we started, we just wanna do the same thing we did when we began. I'm gonna do my single crochet into this double crochet. Just like that, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and slip stitch right into this first stitch we made. I'm gonna slip stitch right into the bottom, and that'll kind of make it look like a single crochet. So right in between those legs of that stitch, slip stitch. Chain one, and turn your work. Turning our work will help our border lay flat and not curl in one direction or the other. So into each space, we're gonna do seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we're gonna jump straight over from our seventh single crochet to the next chain space and make seven single crochets into the next space. So one, two, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. Straight over into the next space, seven single crochets. So keep going around your blanket, making seven single crochets into each of these chain spaces all the way around your blanket, and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started this round, we are just gonna slip stitch to join. We're finished with this color now. So we're gonna slip stitch to right where we joined our yarn. So right in between this stitch, I'm gonna go right in between those legs of that stitch and make a slip stitch just in the middle of that stitch and make one little slip stitch, just like that. Chain one and cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. Turn your work. For the next round, we're just gonna join anywhere. So pick a shell somewhere randomly in the middle of your blanket or anywhere. And we want to find the fourth stitch up. We want to be working into the fourth stitch of every shell. So we want to go into the fourth stitch. So there's one, two, three, and four. That is the stitch we want to work into. So put your hook into the fourth stitch, loop of your new yarn on your hook, leaving a long enough tail to sew in, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail and chain three. One, two, and three. Into the next shell, we're also gonna be going into the fourth stitch. One, two, three, and four. This one right here. And make one single crochet into the fourth stitch of the next shell. So one single crochet, chain three. One, two, three. Into the fourth chain, one, two, three, four, one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, into the fourth chain, one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, into the fourth stitch of the next shell, one, two, three, four, one single crochet. So pause the video and keep going, making one single crochet into the top of our shell and a chain three to get to the next one, all the way along, and I'll meet you when we get to the corner. When you get to your corner shell, we're doing the same thing, going into that fourth stitch, making a single crochet, and chaining three, one, two, three. But now go back into that very same stitch and make one single crochet. So this will be the new corner for the next round. And chain three. One, two, three. And now keep going like we were, making one single crochet into the fourth stitch, chaining three to get to the next one. When you get to your corner, do an extra single crochet into the same stitch. So pause the video and I'll meet you when you get back to where we joined. When you get back to where we joined, we are going to slip stitch straight into this first stitch here. We're gonna go right in the center of those legs of that stitch and we're gonna do a slip stitch. So put your hook in and slip stitch. Chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna work into the spaces and into the stitches. Our chain four counts as our first double crochet and chain one. So into the next space, wrap your yarn and make one double crochet. Chain one, and one double crochet into the stitch. Chain one, one double crochet into the space. Chain one, one double crochet into the stitch. Chain one, one double crochet into the space, chain one, one double crochet into the stitch. So we're gonna keep going like this, making a double crochet and chain one, one into the stitch, one into the space, all the way along this side of our border, and I will meet you at the corner. I've done my chain one, double crochet into that stitch, chain one, 
double crochet into our corner space, chain two, and double crochet into the same corner space. Chain one, and double crochet into the single crochet right after, into that same corner space. So that gives us a new corner. Chain one, and now keep going. One double crochet, chain one into the space. One double crochet, and chain one into each stitch, going all the way around. And corners get one double crochet, a chain two, and one double crochet, all into that same corner space. So pause the video and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. When you get back to where you started, do your chain one and we're gonna slip stitch to this chain right here. So the third chain up. We wanna leave a chain in the middle like we have been for the whole border. So into the third chain, one slip stitch. Chain one and cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down. Put your hook into any space. Loop of new yarn on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail and chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet into the same space. Into the next space, single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. Jump straight over to the next space, one single crochet, chain three, and one single crochet. So each space is gonna get a single crochet, a chain three, and a single crochet, jumping straight over into the next space and doing the same thing. So jump to the next space, single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. Next space, single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. So keep going like this all the way until you reach your corner. Into your corner space, one single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna turn this into a little pico. To make a pico, we're gonna put our hook back down into that stitch and grab that front loop and also this loop at the bottom. So we're gonna grab both of those loops. So poke your hook in, grabbing both of those loops and make one slip stitch. And single crochet into the same space. And jump straight into the next space, one single crochet chain three, one, two, three, and one single crochet. So our work will look like this. Keep going along, doing one single crochet, a chain three, and one single crochet into each space, jumping straight over into the next space and doing the same thing. And corners will be a chain five with a pico, just to hold it into that cute little shape. So keep going and I'll meet you when you get back to where we joined. When you get back to where we started, we're going to slip stitch again right in between the legs of that very first stitch. So just push your hook in and slip stitch. Chain one and cut your yarn. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'd love to see yours. You can find me over on these social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Love to see how yours turned out. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any awesome, quick, fast, and easy tutorials just like this. Thanks so much for hooking along. We'll see you in the next video and stay hooked.